Hello everyone, for today's video, we are going to assemble this inversion table from Innova. This is the model number ITX9900. So I picked this particular model because it had the upgraded ankle support. So if you're assembling this by yourself, I just wanted to let you know that this package actually weighs 62.4 pounds. I actually weigh this as well in my uh, scale and it does say 62.4 pounds. And the item inside it is going to be 55 pounds. So depending on your fitness level, you might need some help in assembling and carrying this product. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. Okay, so this is what's inside the box. Once you open it, then you're going to see all the parts required as well as the instruction manual. So let me go ahead and check the manual out and organize this so we can start assembling it. But before we do that, I just want to ask you a quick favor please help my channel out by clicking the subscribe button and also if you found this video helpful to you please make sure to click the like button and comment down below and let's go ahead and get started so i just wanted to point out that everything is packaged very neatly you see right here everything have a foam and it has some styrofoam as well and you can see right now everything actually is taped so that they won't get displaced during shipment. Okay, so let me go ahead and take everything out and unpack it, and then we'll continue. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box. First, you're going to see that you have the uh, assembly guide and owner's manual right here, and then you're going to have the screw sets. And the good thing about this is if you look here, you have step one, step two, step three, step four step five and then you'll have an extra wrench right here and also you'll have the pin and as well as another uh, pin right here okay so next is that is your main frame right there and the support bar the frame base and those are the four base covers okay and on this side, you'll have your ankle support, your foot support, and the uh, adjustments as well right there. Over here are your two handlebars and the handlebar cover right there. And on this side is the pre-assembled uh, board and also your lumbar support. So if you look at the lumbar support right here, this is not a foam. This is actually uh, air. So you can actually inflate it and deflate it as well. Okay okay so step one is we're going to attach the base into the main frame when you do this make sure that the two connecting brackets of the frame are facing each other so if you look here this one is facing this one right here okay so let's go ahead and do our step one okay so for the step one component you're gonna need this and you're gonna need this number 32 screws right here okay so let me go get all those four screws. Okay, so for the step one, you're going to attach the base into the frame. And what you want to do is, if you look over here, you have the straight side and you have the indent side right here. This indent side is always going to be facing out. Okay, so this is going to be at the bottom of the frame. So if you look here, this actually fits the uh, screw. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this at the bottom and tighten it by hand for now. And I'll do it on the other side as well. And then I'll do it on the top. So you can use the included uh, Allen wrench right here, but I'm going to be using my tool, so I'll do it faster. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do it here. Okay, so once you tighten it, you can put the cover. So if you look here, this is going to be on the top right here. Okay, so I'll just go like this. And I'll do the other one here. And 
and we'll do it also on the other side okay okay so we just installed the two bars right here and actually according to the manual it says that you don't want to tighten the screw here until you actually put the crossbar i don't think that's going to be a problem because the upper part doesn't have anything in it so you can always move it out okay what i'm going to do next is i'm going to stand it up so that i can easily uh, put all the other parts as well so let me do that next step is to install this crossbar into these holes right here so you see right here you have two holes here and two holes over there okay and the parts that you will need we're still on step one are going to be these two plates right here and this four screws right here okay okay so this is the two plates and these are the screws so i'll just remove this okay so when you install this bar make sure that this plastic stopper is facing out okay so let me go ahead and do it this way and what you want to do is put this plate in okay and according to the manual you want to insert this screw from this plate going inside And I'll do the other side. Then you want this washer and the nut. So you just put it right here. So I'm not going to tighten it right now. And then I'll do the other side as well. So I'll put this right here. And right here. Same thing on this one right here. And on the other side, you're going to need this washer. Okay. And of course these two nuts next is we're going to attach these handlebars and for the handlebars you're gonna need all these parts right here plus all these screws under step two and this uh, stop pin right here so parts 2019, 20, 2019, 20, 21, and 26. Okay, so first we're going to install this handlebars with all the numbers right here. And you're going to and you're gonna see that you have this one right here. So this is the one that have the warning labels. So you just put this handlebar on the top and basically run it like this. And you are going to use this to number 20 volts okay so let me go ahead and open it and what i'll do is i'm going to insert it from the inside to the out and i'll do the other side as well and put the uh, stop nut right here the stop washer there and put the nut in. same thing right here on the bottom so according to the manual you don't want to tighten this too until you insert your bolt number 19 so bolt number 19 goes into this holes right here make sure you have your top washer right here so i'm gonna put it in and going to just fill the hole here and tighten it Okay. now you want to tighten your bolt 19 first so you just want it tight enough so that it's not wiggling but you don't want it too tight okay so this one here as well okay so next is to install the left handle for the left handle you just need 
two number 20 bolts. So again, let's put it from the back and put this thing inside. Do the other one as well. Get your stop washer and the uh, lug nut. Do it on the other side. Okay, so we just finished installing the foot, the crossbar, and the handles. And you're going to notice that on one side of your uh, handle, there's actually a small hole right here. And the reason for that is so that you can fold your um, frame for storage. Okay. And what you need is you want to grab this pin right here. I believe this is number 26. It comes with this pin as well as with this chain. So you basically just want to insert this pin right here. That will basically lock this into place so you cannot move it anymore. Okay. And then the chain, you just have to put it right here. And attach it on this end right here okay so we'll just do it there okay Next is you want to install the backrest. So for installing the backrest, you're going to use step three right here, this lock pin, as well as the screws here as well. This is uh, step three. So this and this right here. So let me grab this from here. And before you install the backrest, make sure that you put this pin in so that it doesn't move as you're putting the backrest. Okay, so to install the backrest, you basically want this to be pointing down. And if you look down here, you can see this is the stopper. This is the crossbar. And basically, the bottom of the backrest is towards the crossbar. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert it like this. And I'll... Put this thing here and on the bottom as well and I'll do it on the other side. Okay. And this is going to be moving, but since you have this thing here, this thing is going to be in place. Okay. I'll put the washer in and the lock nut. Same thing on the bottom. Put the washer, stop washer, and the lock nut. I'll do it on the other side as well. And again, when you install this, make sure that the bottom of the backrest is actually, when you go like down, it's actually on this end right here where the crossbar is, okay? So the next step will be to assemble this footrest. And basically what we are going to need is this four screw right here on step four. That's number 20, 19, 21, 39, 40, and 42, plus this small uh, plug holes right here. First thing you want to do here is install this uh, footrest, okay? And that's going to be installed right here. So here, you're, ju you're just going to need uh, two bolts. So basically the number 20, 19, and 21, okay? So that's going to be right here. So this is the long screws. And if you, not, if you separate them, you're going to notice that you have four washers and two lock nuts right here okay so what you're gonna do is first you want to put the first washer in 
okay and then you want to insert it right here and then you put the washer on the other side and the lock nut okay so let's go ahead and do that so the bolt have the washer on this end and i'm going to enter it on one side i'll put the other washer here and the lock nut same thing with this i'll put the washer in here you know if you look here there is a flat side and a round side right here so you want the flat side to be facing this uh, unit right here okay and again washer and the lock nut So next is we're going to insert this tube right here and this tube right here into this holes here. So if you look at the tube, you have one long and one short tube. Okay, so the short tube actually goes into this bar right here where all the adjustment is. So you want to insert this tube right here. So first, let me adjust this so I'll have more room and I can show you this. So what you want to do is pull this thing out and move it, okay? So when you install this, you want the holes to be facing up. And this notch right here should be facing up as well, okay? You have two screws left here. What you want for this is this set of screws here that have this uh, little silver... A washer right here okay so let me go ahead and take it out and basically if you look in the back you'll see that this ha one have a bigger hole compared to the one in front so basically you want this to go inside this bigger hole right here so let me go ahead and do that and you see that fits perfectly and I'm gonna go ahead and put the stop washer here and install this as well and again I want to tighten it up next is we're going to install this uh, ankle support and if you look here there's two types of ankle support there's this one right here that have a metal cover and then this one here that have this plastic uh cover here so you have two of this and you have this two with the metal uh cover here so what you want to do is use this one with the metal cover for and insert it right here so this basically this thing here is going to uh, go over here and um, secure it okay so let's go ahead and do that so here's what I noticed and I, I'm glad I did it correctly on the other side I, what I noticed here is one end here is just smooth but the other end have a little notch right here see that so the little notch is going to be on the outside so that basically it's going to catch on to this notch right here okay so again i'm just going to insert it and basically go past a little and now this is secure okay so next is to install this uh, little bar for the other side. So this thing just goes over here. And you're going to see you have four holes here. And you want those holes to be facing up. Okay, so facing towards you when you're um, installing it. So right here, you're going to use this screw right here so you just basically push this thing in
and put the screw in so just tighten it enough to secure it but don't want you don't want to tighten it too much that it will break the plastic okay so let me just go ahead and do that okay so now if you look here you have step four right here and then you have this uh extra plastic uh kind of like screw so you just want to take that out and basically you want to put that right here so you have one here and another one right here so they give you six so the other two is probably a reserve but they give you that so you put that thing in and then you want to install this right here okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and push this thing in and push another one of this plastic plug okay let me do it on the other side let me go ahead and put this on and i'll just grab one of the plastic plugs as well again and push it in so basically that kind of like secures it okay okay so step five is basically installing this in into the unit and if you look at your unit here you have this pin right here that you can pull okay so what you want to do is you want to pull this pin and insert this all the way okay so i'm gonna be right here so i'll just put this thing right over here so i'll just put it right here okay Okay, so this is how it looks like now. You can install the lumbar support. And the lumbar support basically is a strap. So you can put it on or you don't want to, if you don't want to put it on, you don't have to put it on. There is a pump right here, so you can pump it with air. And the last step will be to install the cover right here on the handle. And let's go ahead and do that. For the cover, you're going to use the step number five. You have the part 41. There's four of those screws right here. And you have this two screws right here okay you're also going to need this top cover this front cover and this side cover right here so let's go ahead and first we want to install the top cover so you want to install this top right here okay and basically this thing is gonna hug this handle here and I'll just use one of the screws so one goes over here this is the number 41 screw and then i'll install the other one on the other side then you want to install this support you have a tab right here that you insert on the top right here okay so there's three one two and three so you just make sure that you insert it properly Kind of like snap in okay and if you look here you have the place there where you put the screws so i'm gonna put this thing in so this is actually the pin that holds it and the last part basically is to install this side cover and you want to use these three screws right here part number 55 and that's to assemble the innova itx 9900 inversion table i hope that you found this video helpful to you please make sure to help my channel by clicking the like and the subscribe button below and also make a comment down below and tell us where you're watching from and again thank you for watching